Integrity Music presents The Adventures of the Donut Repair Club at Camp Harmony. Featuring the Donut Man, Rob Evans. The Donut Repair Club. And everybody's favorite donut, Duncan. Sure are. Camp Harmony. We made it. <laughs> hey, how come they call this place Camp Harmony? Oh, because one of the big things we learn is how to make friends and how to live in harmony with each other. You mean how to get along? Oh, yeah. And not just with each other, but also how to live in harmony with God. Harmony? Friends? Sounds nice, but some of us can just camp, right? Oh, there's going to be lots to do, if that's what you mean, Matt. I heard there's a playground. And a craft house. And swimming. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's all of those things to do, but first, we've got to pick our buddies. Pick our buddies? Mm -hmm. There's seven of you, and there's just one of me. That means that we've all got to take care of one another. Oh, oh, wait a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. I know you have your favorite friends, but one of the big things about coming to camp is getting close to people we don't know, you know, making new friends. That's why we have the buddy system. Hey, Mr. Donut Man. Yes, Abby. I'm the perfect buddy for me. <laughs> you do? Who is that? Duncan. Duncan? What? It's okay with me if it's all right with Duncan. Great. Hey, everybody. This is perfect. They're even the same size. We might be small, but we are a team. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, now, what about the rest of us? Um, Andy and Brandon, you be buddies. And Mary and Katie and Pia, you can team up. And Matt? Oh, don't worry about me. What do you mean, Matt? I'll be fine by myself. By yourself? But everybody needs a buddy. Correction. Almost everybody needs a buddy. Just not me. I've been to camp jillions of times. I know this place like the back of my hand. Hand? It doesn't look like the back of your hand, does it, Mr. It's Donovan? just a saying, Duncan. Oh. Uh, tell you what, Matt, why don't you and I be buddies? Would that be okay? Suit yourself. Everybody needs a buddy. I'm your buddy, you're my buddy, and we'll stick with one another. Like peanut butter. We'll stick with one another. I'm your buddy, you're my buddy, and we're gonna stick together. Like gum on your shoe, I'll stick with you. If you need to swing, I'll push you higher, higher than you've ever been before. And if you're feeling sad, I'll make you glad and hug you with the love of the Lord. We'll stick with one another Like peanut butter We'll stick with one another I'm your buddy, you're my buddy And we're gonna stick together Like gum on your shoe I'll stick with you
play hide and seek, we're so small they'll never find us. Good point. Now what? How about follow the leader? Follow the leader? Oh, I remember that. I used to play it when I was three. Or was I two? Oh, can we, Mr. Donut Man? Why, sure we can. And it's not just for little kids, Matt. Knowing how to follow a leader is a lesson that we can all learn, as long as it's the right leader. Like you. Well, I'm OK. But the person I had in mind is Jesus. The Bible says that he is our good shepherd. Yeah, and we're his sheep. That's right. Come and skip behind the shepherd. Good shepherd. Skip, skip, skip behind the shepherd. Good shepherd. If your name is... Brandon! If your name is... Katie! If your name is... Annie! Then come. Hey, kids, let's do it again. Come and skip behind the shepherd. Good shepherd. Skip, skip, skip behind the shepherd. Good shepherd. If your name is... Gia! If your name is... Your name is Mary. Then come. Come and lie down in green pastures. Come and lie beside still waters. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd and I come. Okay, one more hot dog. Anybody want it? Not me. I'm still. Me too. Okay. Going, going. I'll eat it. Go on. <laughs> oh, how many hot dogs have you had, Abby? Three. Three? How can a little girl like you eat three big hot dogs? I'm sharing with Duncan. Oh, you don't say. I never could have guessed. <laughs> Here's a napkin for Duncan. You're going to need it. So, what are we doing this afternoon? Well, we'll play some more games, uh, arts and crafts, some canoeing, and I've got a big surprise for you. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Wait a second, we've still got some work to do here. We do? Mm-hmm. It's called KP. KP? Mm -hmm. Are you kidding? What's KP? Kitchen Patrol. That's camp talk for let's all stay inside and wash the dishes instead of having fun. Oh, no. It's camp talk for let's get together with our buddies and make this place spick and span so then we can go out and play. Like I said. Listen, whether it's fun or not often depends on our attitude. Right, kids? Yeah. Right. Time to watch. to dry. You teach me in your word, love it is the way, and if I learn to love, then I will obey. That's good. It's just another way of saying, Lord, I love you. You've learned a lot. To love and obey. to stack. Sharing with my friends, being good to all, helping anyone if I see them fall. It's just another way of saying, Lord, I love you. Wipe the counter. You teach me in your word, loving is the way. And if I learn to love, then I will obey. Loves 
you too to love and obey. Boy, was this ever a mistake. I come out here to have some fun, and what happens? I end up doing musical KP duty. Give me a break. Well, I'm just gonna have to explore this place on my own. I mean, all this buddy stuff. Who needs it? Come on, come on. Okay, here goes the ringer. Pia, your come turn. On, Pia. Come on, you can okay, do you it. Okay, you can do it, Pia. You come can on. do it. Oh. No lifeguard on duty. Uh-oh! What's wrong, Duncan? I think someone's about to get into trouble. Take a look! I think you're right. Let's go! go. to be in there. There's no life bar. So what? I'm not going swimming. I'm just checking things out. Watch out! What are we going to do, Duncan? Why over the fence? I can't. It's too tall. Plus, we're too little. Help. Well, you'd never Help be able me. to pull them out. Oh, yeah? Have you ever seen a donut when it gets wet? No. Well, pull me in. Are you sure? Yeah, hurry! Uh, if you say so. about this later. Hey, where's Duncan? Back where he belongs. Yay! <laughs> Boy, that water was cold. You and Abby were really brave. W -w -w were we? Yeah, it, it looks like the two smallest turned out to be the two biggest heroes of them all. Wow, I've never met a real hero before. But that's not true, Mary. We've all met a hero before, only he didn't save us from the water. He saved us from our sin. I've never thought of it like that. Oh, but if Matt and Duncan are feeling warm enough, this would be a good time to tell you all about the greatest lifeguard of them all. Okay.
and rescued him. Everybody, back to the lodge for a big surprise! Yeah. Oh, Matt, Matt, come here, come here. You really gave us a scare back there. I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, I guess I was pretty stupid. <sighs> oh, don't you see, Matt? We really do need each other, no matter who we are. God wants us to take care of one another. I'm sure glad Abby and Duncan cared about me. Oh, we all care about you, and we'd be your friends if you'd just let us. You mean you'll still be my buddy? Oh, sure I will, but even more than that, God wants to be your friend. He wants to fill your heart with joy. That's why we're called the Donut Repair Club. Look, see? Each one of us is just like a donut. We've got a big empty place inside that only God's love can fill. See? I see think that? so. <laughs> Tell you what. Let's go back to the lodge, and there's someone I want you to meet there, and she'll help you understand, okay? Okay. Let's go. Come on. Let's go, Duncan. Wow. wow. Cool. Is this Look. a surprise? <laughs> this is the surprise, all right. This is my friend, Mrs. Doggett. <laughs> What's she doing? I'm making a pot. Out of clay? That's right. Yeah, look. Here's one. Oh, but look more closely, everybody. This one is crooked and cracked. See? You know why? The clay wasn't soft. It was hard and stubborn. Isn't that right, Mrs. Doggett? That's right. And sometimes we're like that. You see, God is like a potter, and he wants to make us into something special, someone loving and obedient, just like Jesus. And sometimes we just won't let him change us. It's like that story of Jeremiah in the Bible. Do you remember? Why, he learned about God from a piece of clay. Jeremiah, go down to the potter's house, and the Lord will talk to you there. So Jeremiah went down to the potter's house, and the Lord talked to him there. See the pot up on the potter's wheel, it didn't turn out the way he'd planned. The pot cracked up on the potter's wheel, it cracked in the potter's hand. So the potter took the clay and squish, 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 squish. squish. Like clay on the potter's wheel, soft to my touch every day. Keep your heart like clay on the potter's wheel. I am the potter and you are the clay. Now squish! So I took the clay and squish, 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 squish. Jeremiah went down to the potter's house, and the Lord 
Okay, one more marshmallow. Anybody want it? No, I do. I do. Oh, no. You've had enough. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Okay, buddy. Here you go. And now a story. Yeah, yeah. you found it. An exciting story. Not too exciting. Okay, not too exciting. Let me tell you about Daniel, he was good every way. He trusted in the Lord and prayed three times a day. But this got him into trouble with the king's evil men. So they took him and they threw him in the lion's den. Run, 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 run. He could see the lion's teeth and the gleam in his eye. But the angel of the Lord shut the lion's mouth tight. So Daniel praised the Lord and slept through the night. <laughs> 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 Daniel was okay. He gave thanks to the Lord on that wonderful day. But the king's evil men shook with fear and with dread, cause they were served up for breakfast to the lion instead. <laughs> Now, do you see? We have buddies in heaven, angels. God sends them to watch over each one of us, just like he did for Daniel. Okay, it's time for some shut-eye. 
and we've got another big day tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, hi, Abby. I've never been away from home by myself before. Oh, but you're not by yourself. You've got lots of friends here. I know. Oh, but are you feeling a little bit scared? Uh-huh. Come on, sit up here. Good night, Abby. Good night, oh. Duncan. Good night, Duncan. <laughs> good night. Oh, isn't it good to have buddies? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me who your best buddy of all is? You mean God? Mm -hmm. He's our good shepherd. And he always watches over his sheep, especially his little ones. And he never, ever sleeps. When I lay my head down, when I lay my head down, to go to sleep, to go to sleep. And my mommy tells me, and my mommy tells me, not one peep, not one peep. I can sleep well knowing, I can sleep well knowing, I am loved, I am loved. Cause the Lord is watching, cause the Lord is watching, from above. And even though the good shepherd counts sheep, he never sleeps, he never sleeps. And even though the good shepherd counts sheep, he never sleeps, he never sleeps. And even though the good shepherd counts sheep, he never sleeps, he never sleeps. And even though the good shepherd counts sheep, he never sleeps, he never sleeps.